Today I don't so much have a how-to or a tip for you. Today I just wanted to really talk about something that can be a little bit controversial in the education wor world depending on who you're talking to. Today I'd like to talk about technology in the classroom. I know that there are some people out there who know that there were ways to teach before technology came around and that many of those ways are still decent practices of teaching and so there are some people who are a little hesitant to embrace the new changes in the technology and I think that there are some merits to those opinions. There are some things that students just need to learn how to do such as I do actually believe that uh, first graders need to pick up physical books at times. I do. However, for the most part, I believe that technology is an awesome new advancement that we should be taking advantage of rather than fighting. And here are three reasons why. The first reason that I think it is good to embrace technology is that it engages students with things that they are familiar with. Most students today, most kids today, are being raised in a home with smartphones, with iPads, tablets, with computers. They are very familiar with these things. It comes very naturally to them. In fact, this generation is being called digital natives because they have not known a world without technology in it. So if you try to teach a lesson that doesn't necessarily have anything that they're used to or that they enjoy using, they're less likely to be engaged. Now there are ways to make lessons engaging. However, one day we took a test on pieces of paper and then sit there and do them. Another day I brought in a classroom set of iPads and we did a Kahoot it quiz on our math facts. Which one do you think got most attention? Of course they were excited and engaged to do the online quiz versus the pencil and paper one. That was a change that was easy for me to make. And kind of a sub point of this one is not only is it important to get their engagement, but when you have uh, your students engaged, you have fewer discipline and behavior problems. If they are interested and if they are excited to be able to use technology and are excited to learn, they are way more likely to be focused and less likely to be causing trouble or behavior problems with their neighbor. The second reason why I think it's important to embrace technology is because it gives the parents a view into your classroom. It allows you to connect with your parents in a whole new way. For instance, this year I do several things that allow the parents to see what's going on in the classroom, to be engaged with what's going on in the classroom. We have a closed Facebook group where I can send pictures and videos and reminders and I can communicate to my parents that way. Also, as we go out through the week, I take pictures and videos. At the end of the week, I really quick with just a basic movie maker, throw it together and I make a digital newsletter, which is just a video saying here's what your student did this week. This allows my students when they come home, um, they don't have an excuse. When your parents say, what did you do in school today? They can't say, I don't know. The parents say, well, your teacher updated on the Facebook page or it says here in our digital newsletter that you've been working on math facts. How's that going? So it allows you and the parent to be on the same page. Now, that's what I use in first grade, but also technology has allowed us to be able to upload grades and reports and all sorts of stuff onto the internet, which allows parents to be connected and know that what their students' grades are, how they're doing in school, and that is a huge step up because that way when you send home a report card, they're not blindsided, like, why does my student have C's when they thought that they've been turning in their work? It allows you to communicate with the parents so much more than we were able to ever before. And those are just a few examples of ways, ways that you can communicate with your parents. It's awesome. My third and final reason of why you should embrace technology, actually some of you might disagree with me, but that's okay. The third reason is that it makes your life as the teacher easier. Now, I think it's important to remember that this technology was developed to ultimately help teachers and students, whereas a lot of teachers might view it as this thing that they have to do because the administration is really pushing them to do it. I actually believe that it does require some more work on the front end, but after you put in that work on the front end, um, the next year or the next month or whatever it is, is so much easier. Let me give a very brief example. 
So I use this online site called Spelling City, and every week I had to type in my spelling words, I had to set it all up, I had to get it organized, and was it a little bit of work? Sure, I mean, I was going to have to type it into something anyway, so it, was, it wasn't even that much more work. And so I got it all organized, and, and it took a while, but at the end of the year, I had my entire spelling list set into this program. So now this year, I just click Unit 1, Week 3, click it, everything's up, students can take quizzes, they can do practice, it's online, so they can do it on home, at home, I mean, and I can print off spelling sheets, I can print off all the th this extra stuff. It makes my life so much easier, and I don't have to worry about keeping paper copies of any of this stuff because it's all saved online. And so ultimately, it's important to remember that this technology will, if you put in the work at the front end, make your life as a teacher smoother and easier. And that's what I love most about it. Now, you could disagree with me on everything that I just said, and that's fine. However, you might be someone who wants to embrace technology, but maybe just doesn't know how to do it. If that's you, leave comments below, ask questions, get a hold of me in some way. I love talking to people about how to use technology in their classroom. I'm going to do a video later on about my specific things that I do in the classroom, but until then, definitely ask a bunch of questions or ask people that you know. Um, I think it's important for us to be a community of learners and to utilize technology together. So, until next time, see ya! Google things, if you know what that means. Oh, I lost an earring. Weird!